Sloppy Five for June 2021. Here we go. The greatest 40th birthday of all time. An even better trivial pursuit fact. Gary Busey is going to be around. The end of a late night TV era and so much more. Put on a grungy tune. It's time to look back at the June it was and some bad jokes to go with it. Right out of the gate, happy Canada Day to all, whether you're catching this just before, on the day, or after. Uh, As Canada hits 154 years old, there is a few celebrity birthdays you may have missed this month. Jerry Mathers, Beaver from Leave it to Beaver, if you need the refresh. He is 73, and it still begs the question, Ward, I think you were a little hard on the Beaver last night. Is this still the worst thing ever said on television? Saturday Night Live alumni uh, Dana Carvey, he hit 66, party on Dana. If you ever need a reason to rewatch episodes of Titus, great show. Stacy Keach is now 80, and Gary Busey still being Gary Busey at 77. If you want to see Gary at his finest, visit YouTube and check out some clips of I'm with Busey. If you've never heard of this show, it'll be the first day of the rest of your life. I'll leave it at that. And finally, June 2021 brought us the greatest 40th birthday of all time, McLovin. McLovin from Superbad, that character would have turned 40 this past month. Fantastic. And and always, always worth it going to rewatch some Superbad every now and then. And I got to add that the little dance montage they do at the beginning of that movie. Mwah. Perfect. Elsewhere with June, so to arrive the Atlantic hurricane season and, well, golfing season for the Leafs. Didn't think I was going to ignore that train wreck, did ya? The Leafs, they always find a way to lose, don't they? It's like the shittiest superpower ever, yet they've got it. Crazy weather hitting us lately as well, with heat records getting smashed just the last couple of days. Notably in Seattle, hotels are at capacity as locals are escaping their homes with no air conditioning. And you know, with all that heat and humidity, I'm betting they were feeling pretty grungy. Mattel this month released a Barbie made from recycled ocean-bound plastic. They're backing this by a campaign. It themed, The Future of Pink is Green. This is also the title of the most viewed environmental-themed video on Pornhub. As we touch on Canada Day, an interesting Canadian internet tidbit for you. June 2008, beautifulpeople.net launched here in the country. It's a website essentially for attractive people with a strict ban on ugliness. I did check, and not a single person from Keswick, Ontario made the site. Send your hate email to... Ah, you know what? Who am I kidding? No one from Keswick is smart enough to use a computer anyway, right? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Just in time for the 4th of July celebrations in the U.S., France is set to send a second Statue of Liberty. This is a smaller one. It's going to be put up on Ellis Island just across from the original. My suggestions, if they're holding a nickname contest, here's what I've got. Little Liberty, The Little Lady, Mini She, Tattoo, and Lady DeVito. Time for some June news quick hits for you. Serena Williams has announced she will not be taking part in the Summer Games in Tokyo. A pile of people just won some free Krusty Burgers this summer. Coming in at 4,368 episodes, Conan O'Brien wrapped his late-night TV run. The final episode of Conan went last week. Jack Black was the final guest. To refresh your memory, Conan started in 1993 when he took over Late Night from David Letterman. Conspiracy theorists... This is your messed up Conan's run equals Montreal Canadiens' chance of winning the Stanley Cup starting point. Have at her. New research shows using slow internet connections at home or work actually increase your heart rate and stress level. I wonder, is this set to become the latest millennial exercise trend? Hello, TikTok! Pete Davidson says he has no idea if he'll be back on Saturday Night Live this fall. Let's hope so. I think the world needs its Staten Island updates. Little side note, I did check. No one from Staten Island is on beautifulpeople.net either. Some June history tidbits. Cue your I remember where I was is, if was is a word. June 25th, 2009, Michael Jackson passing away. 50 years old, Jackson had a heart attack at home and was rushed to hospital. Personally, I was doing the old talkie songy on the radio that afternoon when it all went down. The news did come fast, that whole story unfolding from nothing in just a few hours. June 1st, 2010, Chris Haney, the co-creator of Trivial Pursuit, died at age 59. Chris, also Canadian, so this is a top-notch Trivial Pursuit slash Canada Day type fact right there. And just a wonderful annual event, June 10th was National Ice Tea Day. You know, not too many rappers have a day just for them. Good for him. But um, Finally, 
Not wanted, yet I got to put them in somewhere. Here's some bad June COVID jokes for you. Headline, Van Halen's tour plans wrecked by COVID. More like COVID's tour plans wrecked by Van Halen. Meanwhile, Cuba has unveiled their very own COVID-19 vaccine. I say the best one yet. Smoke a cigar dipped in rum. Filming on Mission Impossible 7 has been shut down again due to COVID outbreak. Tom Cruise is said to be livid. Just couch jumping mad, I tell ya. And finally, again, depending on when you hear this, if your Canada Day fireworks suck or suck this year, blame COVID. Seems it has caused a fireworks shortage as well. All right, that is your Sloppy Five for June. You can check out that and much, much more anytime on my website, thegilmoreshow.com.